Right guys, you know I like doing this every now and again to give you some knowledge. And I was watching this very, this is the very reason I like watching Shakur Stevenson. And um, it's actually a style that I like to teach. That's why I like to, um, watching him. So I'm just going to run it through and just talk. Now the style that I'm about to talk about is the back foot, front foot movement. And what I mean by that is the back foot will move first and the front foot will follow. But you can only get away with this if you have a wide stance like Shakur Stevenson has. Javonta Davis has a wide stance there. You see that wide stance? Uh, that wide stance there? You also see Floyd with that wide stance. But as you see, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot. And I'm going to explain why it's so good, right? I just let it roll for a little bit more. Look, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot. Reason why I love this style is because it keeps you nicely balanced. But not only that, that back foot, front foot movement, it keeps you in better punching range in my opinion i do that style myself i teach that style it keeps you in good punching range but not only it keeps you in good punching range offensive offensively on the defense too it keeps you nice you know and safe if you see the weight is slightly to the back foot and that's why heron's finding it hard to engage you have to be very smart to have this style. You can't just walk forward like Shakur's doing with no brains. What? So now I'm going to talk about Heron. His style is more narrow. And what's happening, because that style is... Look, look at the feet there. Look how narrow those feet are. And when he steps forward, he's stepping with his weight too much on the front foot. I was talking with this with uh, my friend from Washington, D.C., Reggie. And he was saying the same thing and he noticed the same thing. And and the weight is more to the front on Heron. So when he's stepping forward with that front foot, all Shakur has to do is pop out a jab. Pop out a jab to the body. Pop out a jab to the head. Or throw combinations, as you're seeing here. It's like a trigger, you know. Heron doesn't have to punch for you to throw punches at that moment you just have to have the brains and the intelligence to know that at any moment he is going to make that um, forward motion movement so you could decide to punch at that moment or you could decide just to sway out of the way um, sway, out, sway out of range and this is why I like this style because as I tell my fighters, be there and not be there. If you're confident, confident with your defense, confident with your range, you can get away with the style. As I said, the reason why I like this style, because, you know, you're staying in that mid range pocket where you can punch, but they can't punch you. You know what I mean? You can hit him with shots, but they can't hit you with shots back. And this is what you're seeing from Shakur Stevenson. And this is why I love watching him. Here again. Here again. Watch watch the wide stance. Look. Look. Back foot, front foot. Back foot, front foot. Back foot, front foot. And he's creeping. He's creeping. And before you know it, he's in range to punch. Look at a back foot creeping. There it is. And if you see Jamel, watch... His legs are not really stable. So he can't get out of the way of Shakur's punches because he's not set right. Watch. Every time he steps forward, look, Shakur's reading it. Every time he steps... Look. Look. He can just touch. He can jab. He can step back with one step. This is what I'm saying. This style here, you got to believe in your hands you got to believe in your range you got to believe in your footwork to be able to pull this style off and if you can this will make you a very dangerous fighter let me tell you and then when you want to dance around the ring you can dance 
And most of the time you'll do it on your own terms. Your dance when you want to dance. Obviously, if they try to press you quick, you use your feet and you can dance at that moment too. But other than that, you can keep it here if you believe in it. Look, he's there, but not there. There we go. Look, he's anticipating everything. He's not waiting to see what um, Heron is going to do. He's already anticipating it. So it's keeping him one step ahead all the time. Now look, now look, he's stepping back on the back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot. So not many people teach that style, you know, because uh, fundamentally, when you first start off at bo uh, boxing, they, don't, they wouldn't tell you to move your back foot first when you're going forward. They always tell you front foot, back foot. You know what I mean? But with a wide stance, like his stance, like a Javonta Davis, like a Floyd Mayweather, then this is the best way to move forward. It keeps you nicely balanced and you're ready to throw shots at any time you want. And you can avoid shots at any time you want. Look at that. Look at that. Look, there we go. The little sway back. And then he's back in range again. Little sway back. Look, he ain't going anywhere. There we go. Still there. Still there. Beautiful. Back foot, front foot. Back foot, front foot. Little steps. Little steps. Nine times out of ten, a fighter's watching your upper body movement. They're not looking down on your feet. So before you know it, Shakur's closed the gap. Pup, 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 pup. Hitting him with shots that he can't see. Another thing I want to mention, look at the different looks Shakur gives as well. So he's got a kind of uh, uh, a low guard, you know, relaxed look here. But look at the wide stance. That's what I'm telling you. Look at the wide stance. And if you see the upper body is just swaying back. The weight is just falling a little bit to the back foot, back leg. And that helps to stay out of range when the opponent is punching. So when he's going back there, look. He can just stay out of range, look. He can just stay out of range. There we go, there we go. Tie him up, tie him up. And then we go again. There we go, there's the touch. Back foot, front foot. He doesn't need many steps. This kind of style saves a lot of energy as well. If you're intelligent, you don't have to move around the ring for every second of every round, especially when you're getting to that elite level and you're fighting championship rounds. Look at that jab to the body again and the combinations over the top. Look. What I like about it, he's anticipating what Heron's going to do and how he does that, he steps. Look. He steps. Just what I said, what he does on the front foot, he does on the back foot. Just going back. That's all. he go back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot. And then he throw out a touch. he throw out a jab. And then when Heron comes into range, he put shots together. There we go. There's the sway back again. Now he's creeping forward now. Back foot, front foot. There we go. Look at it. Look at the creeping. No, he just stays in that in that mid-range pocket. He ain't worried about nothing. He can see everything. Look, Heron's falling over the front foot there, you see? That's why he could easily avoid it. And now he's back in range to punch again. There's a jab to the body. There's a jab to the body. There we go. There's the sway back. Look, he's always in range to punch. Masterful boxing this. And that's it, people. I just wanted to give you my take on a few rounds of how great Shakur Stevenson is.